Paraguay. Often overlooked and far off the tourist trail, this hidden gem of South America is packed with unique adventures and that's exactly why I'm here. Join me as I dive into the rich culture of this country and venture to places that are little known to the outside world. This is Paraguay. So I'm kicking things off this weekend, just left Asuncion and I'm heading into the countryside, stopping in some small little towns along the way. First one that I'm in right now is called Paraguari and I am the only foreigner here. Uh, right now we got like a little market going on outside and man, some of the sights and sounds I'm taking in are pretty surreal. This is a little bit of a culture shock for me as I am way off the tourist trail in South America. So it's definitely very eye-opening walking around here. I haven't had uh, something like this in a while, so very interesting. Okay, so that's the first town and oh, by the way, I did rent a car, so let's carry on. So yes, I rented another car. I figured it'd give me the most opportunity to see all of these towns and really explore further in depth and give me more freedom in the end. So I think it was a no brainer. All right, just found a chicken spot. <laughs> Looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna eat here. <laughs> uh, YouTube, for YouTube. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll do half. All right, this looks too good for me to pass up. So I'm just pulled over here on the side of the road and I'm gonna try out this chicken. <laughs> looks great. So we got chicken, yuca, and then a piece of cornbread. That looks great. So yeah, just your basic chicken. We got yuca, which I had in Colombia, and then this cornbread right here. So roadside food, nothing better. Mm. Yo, that is damn good. That is so good. I'm glad I stopped. The flavor on that is, is really something else. It looked good from the street, but like, Holy shit, this is some of the best chicken I've ever eaten. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> Appreciate it. Gracias, ciao. Okay, so I had that chicken in Carapegua. I'm probably butchering the name, but you can see here on my map. Uh, right now I'm leaving this town and heading to the next town. There are so many towns out here and they're all maybe like 10 to 15 minutes apart from one another. So right now I'm in the next town down the road, San Roque Gonzalez de Santa Cruz. But as you can see here, got a cow sitting on the side of the road. This is about as off the grid as it gets for a foreigner. Uh, we got turkeys here running around. All dirt roads like this here. These are like the streets throughout the town. And then just small little houses. Everybody is sort of hanging outside playing music. Probably all looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? But. I don't know, I enjoy getting into like these areas where 
nobody would ever think to come. And I feel like this is like true Paraguay, I guess. So I figure why not take a little detour and walk some of the streets here. Now, one thing I do want to mention while I'm back here is I believe Paraguay is the second poorest country in all of Latin America. You can definitely tell walking in these areas. Now, you might be wondering about my safety, especially walking around here solo. I believe it is pretty safe for the most part. Obviously, I've been keeping a good awareness of my surroundings and my camera, but I will say walking around here, it does make me very appreciative and grateful for what I have and the life that I have just kind of I think puts a lot into perspective getting into these areas and makes you realize that life back at home you can complain about the smallest things but in reality like you don't really realize how fortunate you have it until you come to places like this it's I think necessary I think it's a big learning curve for me to get into places like this it makes me realize uh, what is out there in the world and really expands my worldview and makes me very appreciative and grateful for the life that I have. Next town up is Quindy, probably butchering the name, but they have some like festival here in the middle of town going on. I just missed the kids' performance. As you can see, I got one shot of them here. Uh, but it seems like it's going on from 7 a.m. all the way till 6 p.m. So everybody is kind of out here having a good time. Pretty interesting. Okay, we just met some guys here on the side of the of the road. They're telling me it's pronounced Kiendi. So I butchered the name before, but everyone's doing good. <laughs> oh, oh. No, I'll give you. Aquí. Por... Aquí. So these kids, believe it or not, have never met an American before. So. No, 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 no. I just handed him my GoPro on there. I they find it very interesting that I'm a YouTuber and that I'm in this town here. They say no foreigners ever come here. Nice meeting you guys. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, gracias. Adios. Adios. Ciao. Okay, well that was pretty cool running into some kids talking for a little bit over Google Translate. You never know who you're going to run into in these small little towns. Very interesting though, they have never met an American before, so very cool to share that connection. So props to them for being welcoming and friendly to me and their town here. I'm just leaving that town and on to the last town where I'll be staying tonight. And the road is like this for for about 40 minutes. So this is about as out there as it gets, driving on a dirt road with this car to get there. So I just had to pull over because of the amount of cows Field after field after field on this drive, there's just thousands of cows. And I think it's very interesting. Paraguay is in the top 10 countries in the world in terms of meat production. And it definitely shows there are so many out here. So many.
cows are just everywhere. They run across the street. You gotta dodge them with the car. This is unbelievable out here. Okay, things are getting a little dicey here in some areas with the mud and then it's like a creek running through the road and I have to navigate this all with a two-wheel drive, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, yo. Okay, I don't know how I just made it through that. You can see the aftermath. Literally like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I just put it in drive and you gotta keep the momentum up and somehow the thing went through the mud. I'm literally so lucky. Literally so lucky that I didn't have to turn around and detour an hour the other way. Holy shit. Okay, we've made it to Ibikui, which is where I'm staying tonight. Uh, so let's find the place. Okay, finally made it. I feel like I didn't even really document half the stuff that happened today. I want to mention though, I got pulled over at one point for not having my headlights on at 1 p.m. Apparently it's a nationwide law that you have to have your headlights on at all times. The fine started at $60 and then I somehow negotiated the lady down to $18. Maybe a little bit of corruption, I'm not really sure. Then the drive on that dirt road, I don't, I don't even feel like I filmed half of it, but that was really sketchy there at the end. Like I honestly don't really even know how I made it. The car was an absolute mess. Luckily, there's a hose here, and this place is very nice where I'm staying. And if all of that wasn't enough, I just got invited to the barbecue that's going on here for the owner's son's birthday. So let's head on over. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but I lost the footage, unfortunately. But this was such a fun night. There was about 10 kids, all of which were my age, and all spoke English. So it was so fun to talk to all of them, gain more insight into Paraguay. They were also interested in the United States and why I was traveling through Paraguay. So it was a really fun time and I made a lot of friends in the process. So hopefully we can link up in the future. As you can see by some of these videos, it was a blast. All right, what a night this has turned into. It's currently 1 a.m. Turned into a full on dance party there for a little. But I'm gonna head back right now and call it quits on today. We'll pick it up in the morning. Good morning from my stay here in the countryside of Paraguay. It's a beautiful morning. Another day full of adventure ahead of me. I'm heading out to a waterfall called Salto Cristo. I'm gonna just waste no time, jump in the car, and it's about an hour away from here. So let's send it. Okay, finally made it. That's like the never ending road. I thought I was there about five times and then also really stressful again, just with the mud. I don't know how the car is able to get through it. I'm like sliding in different areas. Probably not very smart, but we did make it. So Salto Crystal, now let's hike down to this waterfall.
Okay, I've made it to Salto Crystal. Pretty freaking cool here. The mist coming off it is crazy. Definitely the biggest waterfall I've ever seen. And then we've some people here swimming down there. Very cool back here, which is nice because it's so humid everywhere you go in Paraguay. So it feels amazing. Just gonna hang out here for a bit. Maybe get a couple of drone shots. Yo, that was epic, and you guys know it too. The drone never disappoints. So many sick shots. But as you can see from that perspective, kind of how remote this place is and how hard it is to reach, it's pretty popular, I think, amongst locals, but there's only three other people back here. So very peaceful, very secluded area, well-maintained, easy to reach from the parking lot, only maybe like 15 minutes. So yeah, this was an awesome little thing to do today. Definitely happy that I came back here. I think it was worth the stressful drive uh, through the mud. So I'm happy I came. Okay, making my way out of here now, up the stairs, and then back to the car for what's probably another stressful drive out of here. Uh, empanada, uh, uno, and then carne, sí. uh, uno of uno that. También. ¿Cuánto? Yes, okay. Perfecto, muchas gracias. gracias Ciao. Ciao. Okay, so I'm back in Ibicuy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but just picked up a little lunch on the side of the street. I'm gonna head back to the place and I'll eat it out on the deck by the pool. I think you didn't do that mega video. Mm -hmm. I, I might do it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just got back, finished up my meal there with the friends that I met last night. Everybody here in Paraguay has been so friendly and welcoming to me. And honestly, it's just what I love when I come to a place and I'm received with open arms. It makes a really good impression for me about the country that I'm in. So the last two days have been nothing short of spectacular. It really has exceeded my expectations in a number of different ways. Not only just the people, but the landscapes too have really surprised me, as you could probably see with some of those drone shots. It's really beautiful here. I was reading online before coming that Paraguay is just flat land with a bunch of cows, but no, it's actually really beautiful. There's a lot of rolling hills, a lot of fields with some views. It's really a beautiful place. So, man, the last two days, as you can see with this video, it has just been very impactful for me. I'm so happy that I decided to come to this country. I know I'm really branching out and getting away from the tourist trail in South America. Definitely the right move. So happy that I decided to come and book the ticket. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and were able to learn something about this unknown country and able to see the beauty here. So that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video from Paraguay next week.